here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. All right, back to Gun Talk. Uh, going to line five, Joseph is with us out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Joseph, you're on. What's up? Hi, Tom. Um, yes, sir. I recently purchased a uh, Ruger 1022 uh, takedown rifle, um, which is a semi automatic 22 rifle. I love um, that rifle. That, oh, I'm sorry? I love that rifle. That's a great rifle. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't uh, had the chance to field test it yet, but I'm hoping to uh, uh, pretty quick here. Um, mm-hmm. But um, the specific uh, variant of the rifle that I went with was um, the takedown version, which has a, uh, a twist-off barrel um, that, you know, is meant to detach, um, right. from the stock and, you know, serve as a, you know, um, fit conveniently into a backpack to take, right. um, camping, you know, things like that. Yeah. And, uh, so, um, at the time that I purchased the gun, I also purchased the Magpul backpacking stock with it, um, which is just a, uh, a replacement stock that, that I installed, um, pretty quickly after getting it that, uh, once you detach the barrel um, of the rifle, you know, instead of having two separate pieces, there's a female end, um, you know, on the end of the stock where the barrel um, slides right into it and kind of clips in. And so it's right. kind of one piece at that point that, that, yeah, can slide into the side pocket of your backpack or whatever. And mm-hmm. so the reason I say all this is, um, you know, under that configuration, you know, it's, it's one piece. It's not two separate pieces in your backpack. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. once you pull it out, um, I haven't timed this, uh, I, you know, I haven't timed myself doing it yet, but I think it's, you could put the uh, barrel together. All you do is you, you pull it off, you twist it on, and within five to ten seconds, you can be ready to, to shoot the weapon. Um, and so the reason I say all this is um, it only occurred to me, um, you know, after purchasing the rifle, which it wouldn't made any difference in my decision at all, but just one more thing. Um, right. I need to kind of think about, I think, before I actually take the rifle out um, is, you know, um, the reason I bought the rifle was to use it under that, you know, type of, I think, intended application of taking it backpacking with me um, and hunting with it. But primarily, you know, most of my time would be spent camping and backpacking and the rifle would be stowed away and I would not be hunting. But well, Joseph, occasionally Joseph, I would you, take you, it out. You, you yeah. got to ask me the. You got to ask me the question, man. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, under that configuration, would it be um, not only you know a hunting rifle that a person would need to be um, licensed to hunt with, but would it also be a concealed weapon at that point? That's a great question. I don't don't know if I've ever actually even considered that. I my my initial reaction is to say no. But then I'm thinking about it and thinking, well, you never know. And you're in Louisiana. I think, you know what you might want to do, and I, because this could be helpful to a lot of people, you might want to write the state police and ask them, say, look, I've got this you know, gun I'm going to be using for backpacking and camping and all of that. It's a rifle that takes down and goes into a pack. Is that considered a concealed weapon? Would I need a concealed weapon permit for that? And if you, here's the thing, and here's why I'm asking you to do this in writing to them. Because once you get a response from them which says, no, it's not a concealed weapon, then you could put that up publicly. You could like send it to the Louisiana Shooting Association. They'll put it on their website, and it'll answer the question for other people who have the same question. Fantastic. Yes. Um, should I, you know, um, should I just write to the police or do you think that would be like a Department of Wildlife and Fisheries? No, I would say uh, the, the Louisiana State Police is the agency that issues concealed carry permits. And so I would ask them, if you don't get the response you want, then then go to the Louisiana Shooting Association, LSA, uh, and then they can request an opinion from the attorney general, it would be good to get this established in law. Now, it may already be out there. I'm just not aware of it.
But I tell you what I am going to do. Can you keep listening for the next couple of hours? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, in the last hour of the show, we're going to have the president of the Louisiana Shooting Association on the show here. Uh, we're going to talk about other things, but I'll ask him about it. How's that? Thank you. Thank you very much. And also, uh, the additional benefit of me putting this in writing is I won't have the tendency to ramble on, but, you know, I'll get to the point uh, when, it's, <laughs> when it's written out. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Joseph, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. It's a fascinating, intriguing question. Uh, i tell you what, Jerry, don't go anywhere. We're going to get to you. I've got to take my break early to give us time on the backside. 866-TALK-GUN. We're open lines. If there's a range report you want to share, we love those. We'll be right back. Let's grab uh, line five, Bob in Phoenix, Arizona. Bob, thank you for calling. I think you've got a comment on this guy with his 1022 in a backpack. Yeah, uh, just to preface, I was in law enforcement for over 30 years, occasionally mm -hmm. dealt with people who were hitchhiking on the interstate. And what the law looked at it as in terms of concealed was where is it concealed? If it's concealed on your body, obviously so. But they would normally look at it from a uh, perspective. If a guy's going down a road and he's got a gun in a backpack, that's not considered a normal part of a uh, a man's attire or a person's attire. Mm -hmm. Conversely, if a woman has a gun in her purse, that's going to be considered concealed. That's a normal part of their attire. And mm -hmm. I know that can be uh, somewhat uh, subjective. It is. But imagine this. Uh, you get out of your, your, your truck to go hunting and you've got your shotgun in a gun case. Is it concealed? Well, I don't think uh, that's not the intent of the law. We know what it is. Right. He's wise to check with his own state, but that's generally how it was looked at. And uh, it's like a guy once said, well, I won't even I won't, I won't say that. Uh, I know it when I see it. Let's put it that way. When it's concealed. Yeah. It's, uh, what's pornography? I, know it when yeah. I, see it. I don't know what it is, but I know it when I see it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, actually, you make a good point, because if you get out of your car with your shotgun or rifle in a case or a broken down in a hard case, that's not considered a concealed weapon. Now, if you're walking into a store with it, uh, it starts to become a, another thing altogether. Although with all the open carry laws we have now and people walking into stores with their ARs and AKs over their shoulders, which I'm not a fan of, by the way, I think that's, uh, there's something else going on with that. But you make a good point of, you know, is that your normal attire? And, and what is the intent? But, yeah, I think if he could get a ruling from the people in the state, that wouldn't be a bad thing either. Appreciate the call, Bob. Thank you, sir. I want to talk about stuff like that. I called my buddy, Dan Zelenka. He is an attorney. He is a civil, a civil rights and for a Second Amendment specialist, competition shooter, hunter, gun collector, and who knows what else. Dan joins us right now. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I am terrific. Well, let's do one thing first. You're also president of the Louisiana Shooting Association, and we got a call earlier today from a guy in Lafayette who bought a, a Ruger 1022 takedown, and he was wondering if he takes his 1022 takedown, puts it in a backpack, he's going to go camping with it. Is that considered a concealed weapon in Louisiana? And I said, I didn't know. It, you do know. Uh, I do know. Uh, it is a concealed weapon in Louisiana. So you can only carry it if you have a concealed handgun permit, or if you're a veteran. And Louisiana has, as of last year, um, constitutional carry for veterans, and all a veteran needs to do is carry a some copy or some proof that they are a veteran and they could carry it. I'll be darned. Okay. So, I see, I would have thought, yeah, it's just like having a gun in a case, you know, your hunting rifle in a case, but in this case, I guess not. It's you might be able to make that argument. As they say, you could beat the charge, but you might not beat the ride. Uh -huh. So it, it's probably better to uh, err on the, uh, on the side of uh, caution. There you go. Good information. I appreciate that. 